Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create shortcuts on your game's um, folders. So instead of having to go into XCX menu uh, to be able to launch Dash Launch, um, we'll be able to create a shortcut of that, as you can see on the screen right here. Which is honestly the easiest and the bestest way, guys. Like, if you actually don't have this, I would 100% recommend it. I know it takes five minutes to set up and do. Um, to make a shortcut and it's just it's just so easy like to be honest it's that easy and then you can play around with your plugins or whatever you want to do so all links in the description guys so we need extra CC neighborhood and we need quick boot so um, so basically we are going to need to open up uh, extra CC neighborhood When it wants to decide to open up on the PC, there we go. And there we go. So if we open up the quick boot, we can go into context and then all zeros. And right here, we need to do the same on the uh, RG8. So go into context folder, go into all zeros. And here, all we need to do is drag this and drop it into this folder. What well, I do not need to do because I've already got it right there, as you can see. The exact same. Open that up. You'll see the eight, uh, or the eight there. In this one, you should see the eight. There will be a seven up here, but you don't really need to worry about that. It just depends when you we do the build. If you have it on the games, um, or just have it on the game demo. Obviously, we need to do it on the game demo, so we don't really need to worry about the seven one. So it's up to you. So this is all the shortcuts I have on my console at the moment. On um, you're wondering. Can we do this with games? Yes, you can. So, I'm going to be doing this with GTA, being that it actually has uh, around about 50 menus on GTA 4, so which is pretty awesome. So, um, let's create a entry point. So, as you can see right here, um, let's go and find our game, shall we? So, go back, go back, go back. And obviously, it's going to be the same with everything else. Um, obviously, I'm going to do GTA 4, click on GTA 4. And then up on the top bar here, we're just going to go and copy this back to the backslash. So, and then in here in the path, backslash, just like that. Okay, make sure you have the backslash at the start. And make sure the executable is the same. Obviously, if it's default.xx to make sure it's both the same. If it's different on yours, obviously come up over here and type whatever it is on the console. So, yeah. If it's different, it will not obviously won't launch the game. Simple as that. So, basically right here, the name, okay, of the game, okay? So, GTA 4, we're going to go 50 plus um, menus and for the game we can just do whatever we really want I'm just gonna go GT uh, um, GTA 4 4 easy as that so from here we just want to go and click on the game demo yep all good and now we can click on build yep done that's done so now we can come into this context folder go into here go into here go into there and there it is guys that's what we just created the build okay everything will go into this folder what you create um, and then obviously on the uh, hard GH all we want to do is go back to that folder basically it's that easy guys it's, it's not rocket science um, and then go to the context folder all zeros go to that folder go to there that's what we got on there at the moment let's drag the GTA for uh, for 50 menus, obviously it's not going to have the plus on there until it pops up on the um, the RGH. So, and then obviously I will just, for example, for this video, I might go freestyle dash on there. Obviously I don't have freestyle dash, but I'm still going to just chuck it on there just to show you that it does load up as well. It's easy as that. So, how to get it to pop up? Basically, just go to Xbox Home and it should pop up it should and it does not want to pop up 
that's okay sometimes you're going to need to reboot the console which I am going to do right now sometimes it may want to you know it might might pop up sometimes it might not but sometimes you might need to restart the console for this to take effect and a lot of people has been asking what sort of RGH do I have um, it is a Trinity console with I believe it's a um, Ace V3 chip with a dual NAND so um, I'll be able to obviously uh, boot into the retail NAND um, instead of having to boot into the, um, the modified one um, we just go back just wait for the server to connect um, I don't know if this is my problem or it's the server issue um, where it just or could, I think it could be a hard drive issue I've been talking to a couple of people but I think it could be a hard drive issue where it's just a bit slow um, and then obviously there you go it connects I think it just might be an issue with XB guard I believe but uh, hopefully they come out with a fix with it because it does get a bit annoying having to do that we don't have to sign in and go to here and there we go we got the freestyle dash and then we got the GTA 4 plus 50 menus guys that's easy um, I might actually try booting up the game but just to show you that it does work let's just sign in I'm going to have to turn off the um, GTA 4 engine just in case if it causes a um, fatal crash um, obviously loading up 50 menus plus a um, the engine might you know might probably won't be real good um, GLV engine we'll just disable that um, and we should be able to you know, obviously load up the game um, and let's launch it up and we should get the game to boot and there we go and the game should boot up um, or it could be anything it could be dash launch if you're doing it could be something else and the game should boot up um, if, if I do end up getting a, a fatal crush that's just that's just me you shouldn't end up getting a fatal crash but I probably will end up getting a fatal crash because I'm just trying to load up that many stuff into the game so it does um, it does struggle to actually run it at times and a lot of people are going to be like why run 50 plus menus it's just like why just have one menu when you can have 50 menus ah <laughs> uh, there we go anyways that's how you do it guys i did get a crash that's probably because i'm trying to load up too many menus but that's how you do it guys it's that easy guys um if you have any questions please drop in the comments below i'm all happy to reply even mess me on discord create a ticket whatever whatever you know where they can contact uh, i'm all happy to help uh all links in the description and i will leave a link in the discord as well guys if you're not even in the discord join the discord we got so many awesome things in there as well um so I would recommend you as being in there. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, guys. Hopefully I can catch you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.